When I was five years old, I was given a book of poems by my father. It was actually called The Book of a Thousand Poems. I still got that book. So I think it was probably that book that really, really got me reading. Plays to Read really started in my mind when my own children were small and I was one of the mums who was helping out with the reading. And so I started writing these short sketches. OK, boys and girls, who can tell me the name of a story we're going to read today? Lewis. Best friends. Best friends, well done. They all knew which part they wanted to be. They would like to be the mountain. OK, well, give me the mountain. Right. You're really wanting to be the cloud, aren't you, Lewis? You can be the cloud. It was very inclusive. You're stronger than everyone, aren't you, son? You're so hot and bright. Children that were less able readers were able to be involved with more able readers um, and that just made you know them more confident in general. No one can see me anymore. In that case, I'll ask the cloud to be my best friend. You read this play through, you swap the parts, read it again, swap the parts, read it again, swap the parts again. So all those words, all that new vocabulary is sunk in, but not in a boring way. And the kids are really motivated by it. There are these electronic versions where you can choose which part you want to read and you, the child, can read those lines. How about it, Mountain? I've been hearing how strong you are. Ah, but there's someone even stronger than me. Who is it? Who can it be? It's something that a teacher could use in class to work with the children, but it's also something that the children can access at home. One time they can play um, one of the parts and the next time they can choose to play a more difficult part as they grow in confidence. I think that's absolutely brilliant. And I don't think we've ever had that experience before. I can't think. Can't you? No, I can't. When we're talking about work skills and life skills, if children can be confident in talking to each other and in performing in public, it can only help. Can anybody tell me who wrote this story? Kira. Julia Donaldson. Who's yours? Thank you. I think Julia Donaldson is so well known and well loved by children and their parents that the minute they hear that she's involved with a play or a book, it makes them desperate to get hold of it, desperate to read it. It's nice for the children to be able to interact with the text in a, in a new and a different way. It brings fun to reading. It's a much more active way of learning. And if you have to do something, you remember it far better than being told. Sometimes people say, is it important to read stories as if they're a tool for something else? The important thing is to learn to read in the first place so that you can enjoy all these wonderful stories.